The entrance antiphon, all peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early in the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac, and two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go over yonder. We will worship, then come back to you. Thereupon Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, <clears throat> Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. <clears throat> then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there <clears throat> and arranged the wood on it. Next he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. There he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger came, called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay a hand on your boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yeri. Hence, people now say, the mountain the Lord will, on the mountain the Lord will see. Again, the <clears throat> Lord's messenger called out to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your kindness, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven, whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold the handiwork of men. O 
They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. (coughs) Um, Just three thoughts. One was to connect Jesus to everything, to see Jesus present in every moment. And that's what we need to help the world do, our friends, our family, and they help us to always see Jesus in in every situation. And that's a wonderful gift that we can give to the world, to those around us, because Christ is our hope. And as we see in the readings, we can connect Christ to both readings. In the first reading, we have Abraham offering his son Isaac. Well, there's supposed to be a lamb, right? A sheep? but it's going to be Isaac. And, um, and in a way, it's like a tooth for a tooth, eye for eye, uh, because remember, Ishmael was sent to die. <laughs> so, oh, you kill one son, you're going to lose the other. But then what happens? Um, God doesn't follow that Old Testament m- mentality of eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Um, he, he says, um, okay, don't kill your son. God is still going to provide the lamb. Who does he provide? His own son, Jesus. And and so, while we're condemned to die, the father offers his son in our place. He's the lamb. Behold the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, we say at Mass. So that's pretty awesome. And then the, the last thought is, in the Gospel, we see that there's the proof to forgive sins by rising and walking, okay? Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough proof, I'd say. But uh, what about Jesus becoming paralyzed on the cross in death and then on the third day rising and walking? (laughs) That's even greater proof. To never die again. Is that he joined the paralytic man in his his issue in his um, result of whatever, you know, Jesus took that on and same for you and me is that whatever our issues are sinfulness, illness, whatever is that he joins us in that paralysis and he wants to 
usher us forth to rise and walk with him in the life that never ends. Together with one voice, let us bring our prayers to our merciful God. That bishops, priests, and religious leaders may be filled with all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our merciful and gracious Lord may guide policymakers in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may comfort the sick and dying. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For favorable weather, especially rain, during this growing season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may soon find their, pri their place in Christ's eternal banquet, especially Bill Lakeel. And for the intentions of this Mass, Marie and Bernice and Ed Berner, Daniel Black and Mike Kehoe, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our parish vocations prayer. God our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. You'll become our spiritual drink. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Communion Antiphon. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me his holy name.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, we, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.